Monday. Nice little weather streak going, and then all good things come to an end. Yes, unfortunately, you kind of, kind of feel it in the air yeah. today. It was so muggy. You knew mm -hmm. maybe storms were starting to move in. Yeah, and we had a couple of those storms in northern Kentucky. Tomorrow we have another chance. It's isolated that we have more storms around, but I think Wednesday is going to be the day that really kind of stands out to everybody this week because that's when those storms are going to be most widespread. So that's why Wednesday is going to be the weather impact day moving forward. Right now it's 72 in Cincinnati and we'll still see temperatures in the 70s for a little bit longer. Starting to dry things out though for northern Kentucky. We had a couple of those storms down in southern northern Kentucky south of the split earlier this evening. So if you live in say the metro northern Kentucky area and you saw some of the lightning off in the distance, that's what was going on. These thunderstorms down here and they're wrapping up few light showers still a possibility over towards springtown but for the most part things are quieting down for us pretty quickly here tonight and that trend is expected to continue for the rest of the evening at least now tomorrow we'll start things off dry mild outside too in fact temperatures by morning are just going to be around 60. once we get into the afternoon upper 70s close to 80 and then more thunderstorms will be a possibility so these are going to be a little bit more isolated and potentially at times scattered, but for the most part, it's looking to be an isolated threat for thunderstorms tomorrow. Wednesday, that impact day, we'll have an afternoon round of rain and storms coming after a morning rain and thunderstorm chance. And in fact, that morning rain and thunderstorm chance could even start as soon as late Tuesday night. Hazards with pretty much any severe weather threat moving forward the next couple of days will be the potential for some hail and strong winds, a lot like what we saw tonight in those northern Kentucky communities that wound up seeing those severe storms. Most likely to happen, though, on Wednesday, that severe weather threat. In fact, the SPC has us in a slight risk of severe weather already for Wednesday. So this is level two out of five for the likelihood that those storms become mature enough that they actually organize into severe storms. So. Moving forward for the rest of tonight, mostly dry outside. Clouds continue to increase and then by tomorrow morning, starting things off on the dry side. But heading into the afternoon, even though future cast is not excited at all to bring in the chance of some thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, there is still that p potential. Once we get to about three o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, watch for that chance for some thunderstorms to pop up. And then throughout the rest of your Tuesday, we'll still have that potential. Overnight Tuesday into early Wednesday morning, rain chances actually go up. So this is just round number one for that potential for thunderstorms on Wednesday. This is likely to be mostly below severe weather limits, though I wouldn't be surprised if we end up with an isolated stronger thunderstorm Wednesday morning. The main impact you'll feel from this is during your commute, we've got the potential for heavy rainfall out there. Then on Wednesday afternoon, that's when that secondary round of strong storms will be a possibility. That's our best chance this upcoming week of seeing severe weather. So main impacts will be the potential for some strong damaging wind and then hail as well. 60s tonight for that overnight low temperature. That's where we kick things off tomorrow morning and then 78 for a high tomorrow. 70s continue for a couple more days, but take note to those weekend high temperatures. Even though we start to dry out, highs are going to be in the 60s. And in the 50s, that's about 30, almost 30 degrees cooler than where we topped out today, guys. Uh, hello.